Olivia Newton-John's death affected millions, and her family shared their love for her in the days before she died. Here's what her daughter had to say in honor of her mom. Tributes poured in following the death of Olivia Newton-John, who died peacefully at her California home on August 8, 2022. The actor and singer was 73 at the time of her death, and her husband, John Easterling, announced the sad news on Facebook. Although the exact cause of the Grease star's death is currently unclear, Newton-John had been diagnosed with breast cancer three times since 1992, most recently in 2017. Newton-John was already a bona fide pop star with five top ten hits on Billboard's Hot 100 when she headlined the 1978 film adaptation of the musical Grease. The movie became a massive hit, catapulting Newton-John and John Travolta to superstardom, and yet Newton-John almost turned down the role. She was reportedly afraid that the film, which wasn't expected to do well, would hurt her music career, and at 29 she felt she was too old to play Sandy. However, all of the high school characters in the movie were played by actors in their 20s and 30s, so she was actually in good company. Stockard Channing, who played Rizzo, was the oldest at 33 years old. Grease was a smash hit regardless, making Newton-John an international icon. Following her death, fans all over the world have been celebrating the physical singer and her incredible legacy. Newton-John's daughter, Chloe Latanzi, also shared a beautiful tribute just three days before her mother's death. Newton-John welcomed her daughter in 1986 with with her first husband, Matt Latanzi. While the couple would divorce in 1995, Newton John remained extremely close to daughter Chloe. Paying tribute to her mother just before her death, Chloe shared an Instagram photo on August 5th, writing, I worship this woman, my mother, my best friend. In the adorable photo, Chloe poses with her mom, who looks happy in a white button up shirt tied at the waist and a long, cream colored skirt. Meanwhile, Chloe wears a white mini dress with off the shoulder sleeves. Growing up, Chloe quickly went from needing her mother's care to becoming her mother's biggest supporter. While Newton-John overcame her 1992 breast cancer diagnosis, her daughter entered a hospital for anorexia treatment in 2004, per Marie Claire. Chloe's condition worsened, and she turned to drug use and plastic surgery to heal her body dysmorphia, citing the stresses of her life in the public eye. Speaking to Woman's Day in 2017, Chloe revealed, Mom supported my surgery decisions because she knew how unhappy I was before. Unfortunately, Newton-John's cancer returned twice more in 2013 and 2017, as the disease metastasized, her daughter cared for her. I wanted to be bright and happy and available and around for my mom. In an interview with 60 Minutes Australia, Chloe opened up about her mother's health and her own journey with sobriety, explaining, We all have our cancers. Mine is my battle with addiction. Her illness helped me heal my illness. Positive thinking became hugely important to Newton-John as she lived with cancer. Speaking to Australian Women's Weekly in 2021, she revealed, You have to believe you'll be okay because your attitude is so important to your healing. The body wants to heal naturally. Her daughter also kept that positivity in mind while supporting her mom, telling 60 Minutes Australia, If she's having a day where she needs to talk about it, I'm there to listen and to always reassure. I'll never bring it up unless she wants to. She's amazing to me because of her heart. Having a positive outlook became an enormous influence on Newton-John's cancer treatment. It's also a primary focus of the Olivia Newton-John Cancer Wellness and Research Center. In fact, Newton-John agreed to add her name to the hospital if they made it a wellness center too, telling 60 Minutes Australia. It was a bit of a battle in the beginning because it wasn't something that was incorporated into hospitals at that time. Doubling down on her commitment to combining health and wellness, Newton-John added, I believe you have to treat the whole person. There's a human being with fear and a lot of things going on that need to be addressed, and I believe the mind is a huge part of your healing. Having made such a large impact on the world during her life, Newton-John's legacy is only going to carry on following her death.